Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Rando by Monkey C. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so what is Rando? Well, Rando is a clever plugin and also app because it works as a standalone app or inside your door, which allows you to organize um, your samples, but also to randomize the selection of your samples. I had the opportunity to speak to the founder at Monkey C. Dennis, a great guy with a lot of experience in music, but also with the passion to create really clever tools like uh, Random. So um, one of the key things that attracted me to Random is the ability to organize your samples and also to find your samples because it has a clever um, search functionality as well. Sometimes you get to the point where you have too many uh, of those samples that might be scattered through different locations and uh, you don't even know you have so many. You're trying to find the best sample to use in your production and there you are. Sometimes you can get lost, although you have a, or you could have or you might have a large library. This is where random comes to help. So as I mentioned, you can see now we are inside Ableton Live and I'm running Random as a, a plugin, but as I said, it can run also as a standalone app. I'm inside the Mac, but it works also for Windows. Um, this is a first tutorial. There are going to be other tutorials as well, which I will produce using Random. As I mentioned, this is something I wanted to do. So thank you very much to Dennis and Monkey C to give me the opportunity to actually test, try Random and to show it to uh, my subscriber base of the Sound for More channel. I'm not going to explain all the different controls in this first tutorials. As I mentioned a moment ago, I will create other tutorials in the style of the Sound for More channel on creating uh, different tutorials or several tutorials in terms of understanding or going through the journey of learning how to use the, uh, the particular app or plugin. So this is going to be an introduction to Rando. So as you can see, a really nice, pleasant screen, a very uh, clean, uh, very easy to use UI, which, uh, which has a nice, interesting animation here around the word random. You can see there is a cog there as well for uh, additional settings. You have a visualizer here in the middle for your samples. You have access to effect here, which is nice. You have filter, chorus, distortion, crash, delay, reverb. So lots of them. But you also have access here to a sequencer. Indeed, it can randomize uh, the selection of samples, and then you can also put them in a sequence and have a sequencer playing them all along. So that is really clever. You can see an uh, option here for loop start, for uh, loop end, for your sample. As, as well, you can also see here the end of the sample and also the start of the sample, right? And you can see here where you are on the sample as well. Some information, of course, for the sample, including the key, which is great. You have options to actually see the grid as well, which is useful. You have option to export and even to edit further, like crossfade, the play speed, the key, uh, pitch bend range, the pan, the output, etc., etc. Below you have um, a set of options here, yeah, like live attack, decay sustain release, your ADSR, your uh, your volume. Uh, you can transpose up and down, set the velocity, your key. You can stretch. Uh, you have playback option, direction. And here you have um, actually a clever um, keyboard, which uh, for each key, it represents a sample which has been loaded. Or should I say, it has been randomized in terms of allocating a particular sample to a particular key. You can see at the bottom it says right click for menu, drag note to sequencer, use shift and command to replace more steps. Of course, it works for uh, um, for Windows as well as well as well as Mac. You can here it says enter leave sample chromatic mode. Here you can enable the latch. Here are the magic to have a loop auto align and add the additional option like mono and listen in in terms of how it treats uh, received MIDI notes. Um, 
Up here, you have a plus symbol and uh, click on it. And here you have access to the sample import function, which is really good. You can decide which file, which folder, really great. Up here on the top left hand side, you have undo, redo. But you have this menu on this hamburger menu, which gives you access to your preset, which is great. Load and save, creation of new preset and your support, of course which gives you um, a, a, a list of features, your contact, your support, etc. And then very cleverly, your settings here. And the first tab here is packs. As you can see, I installed a sample pack, which Rando comes with, which uh, is very much appreciated in case you don't have uh, samples already loaded on your machine. Here this, you have your sample location. This is where you can uh, actually add the location where your samples are and then you have some preferences like auto pitch lock your auto stretch loop which are on by default you can scale your GUI so you can go 125 percent like so it's getting bigger which is nice you can have dark mode or not and you say really nice and, and, and so on so you have a lot of more options right so let's try it so the way it works is i'm using currently the um the default uh, pack of samples purposely so that if you acquire rando which is a really really reasonable price and it's really a low price for what it gives you click here and it randomize you can see this nice animation which has happened on the keyboard now i have a midi controller which is connected to rando and now i'm going to press some keys You can see the quality of the samples, so you, or I should say, you should hear the quality of the samples, even in the sample pack, really great. And now let's uh, have a magic on, which is great. And let's uh, play multiple samples together to give you an idea of what you can do. So you can actually create your own song just looking at using samples like that, like I've just done now. Now, you see this cog, click on it. Here you have uh, additional settings for randomization. You can say, uh, you can decide which loop type, all the one which are looped, one which are uh, one shot. You can decide the length. You can reset the parameters here, but here is quite clever. You can also say, go by category. You want to have drums, no drums, tonal, other. And then in this case here, it says location. At the moment, I have only one pack, but I will show you in um, an upcoming tutorial um, how you can add the location to different folders and the full bring, um, you can bring in uh, additional samples which is really what you want to do here you see 256 results found in terms of samples okay so here you for example you could type uh, synth and press enter it says 17 results found click on random and you can see it has allocated some of the sample there So where you see the gray here it means there is not an assigned sample right you can go by drum it says 153 click rando again randomize it So you can really do a lot click random again and randomize it as many times as you like So, 
as you can see, uh, it's a clever um, application, right? So um, click Rando again. And there you go. And let's have more fun. Okay, I'm going to stop here for this first introduction to Rando, a really great app. Please have a look at the website. I left the details, including the video description. And as always, see you next time. Bye.